Defining your safe zone is a really important pen and paper exercise that will help you determine how much control panic attacks have over your life. You'll also come back to this exercise as you progress through this program to see how well you're doing. Begin with a sheet of paper and draw a large circle on the page. Then draw three smaller circles within that large circle. This means that on the page in front of you, you should have four circles in total, with the innermost circle being the smallest. In the innermost circle, write the words safe zone. And within that circle, list all the places where you feel comfortable and not fearful of a panic attack. That might be at home or work, but it could also be the name of a person that makes you feel safe. We call these people safe people. If you're in a state of high anxiety all the time, you may not feel that you have a safe zone, meaning you never feel safe from anxiety anywhere. In the next circle out, I want you to write the word uncomfortable. And here you list the places that trigger a sense of unease or anxious discomfort. This might be at work or maybe the shops. In the next circle out, write the word scary. And here you write all the places where you feel afraid or scared that a panic attack might start. This could be the cinema or maybe driving alone in traffic. Lastly, in the largest circle, write the word terrifying. Here are the places you avoid at all costs and will not enter. This is where you're absolutely unable to go for fear of a panic attack or really high anxiety. Those places might be an airplane or maybe a dentist chair. This exercise creates a great visual for you to see all the situations where anxiety is holding you back. It can be a great motivation to start winning your freedom back. It also gives you clear objectives to go after, starting with the easier goals of tackling uncomfortable situations and then moving to challenging yourself in the scary or even terrifying situations as your confidence in your ability to handle the different situations grows. It's also heartening and very motivating to see situations that once used to terrify you drop down a circle to the scary or unpleasant or even to the safe zone circle. It's important to point out that in reality there's no such thing as a safe zone from anxiety. Just as there is nothing life-threatening about a panic attack, remember that the idea of a safe zone is really an illusion anxiety creates. You're not in any more danger sitting at home than you are sitting out under the stars in the outback of Australia. Of course, your mind will immediately rush to tell you that the outback of Australia is a ridiculous place to be because there are no hospitals, no tranquilizers, no doctors, no safety. Review your previous experiences of anxiety and panic attacks. Aren't you still here, alive and well, after all those attacks during which you were convinced that you were going to die? Eventually, you want your safe zone to become just you, so that no matter where you go, you feel safe and confident within yourself. If you want a speedy recovery from anxiety or panic, you need to constantly challenge yourself and push beyond your comfort levels. I know more than anyone how terrifying it can feel to move out of your safe zone as the fear wells up inside. But you have what it takes to do this. The big difference, of course, between now and the last time you attempted anything like this is that you now have a unique toolkit called the DARE response to take with you wherever you go. By applying it, even briefly, you are moving in the right direction and healing your anxiety.